Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here I have for you today is from the Frame Arms Girl line, the Hellsverger Otter. Uh, from, I've, <laughs> I've been trying to pronounce that name forever, and uh, I still don't really have it right, but hey, uh, you know, it's okay, at least y'all under understand what the review is going to be on. Um, now this is an amazing kit. I built it back in... I think April I finished it. This is this is the second Frame Arms Girl I've ever built. Um, now I wanted to review it ASAP, but I was like really putting Gunpla as such a high priority. Uh, so now that you know I'm not really getting any more Gunpla for like another almost two weeks, um, I can kind of go back and start reviewing some things that uh, I've either built in the past or I've purchased in the past. Um, and, you know, just in the meantime before uh, any new Gunpla that I go ahead and buy, you know, comes into the limelight. Uh, but other than that, uh, if you don't know what the Frame Arms Girl line is, it's basically a line that um, I'm trying to trying to see if I can say it as accurately as accurately as I can. Um, but essentially, Kotobuki has a line called Frame Arms, and with that, they decide. Well, one guy I guess came up with some art, and he wanted to combine the uh, the girl designs with the Frame Arms line, so. They went ahead and did that. So that's pretty much like the short version. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more details in there that are uh, way more interesting that you can go ahead and find. Uh, but ultimately, I really like this line. Um, there's not a ton of kits in this line. Uh, I would just say in comparison to uh, maybe like Zoids or Gunpla or maybe some other uh, some other lines. Um, but there, there's a hefty amount to where you can really um, have a good time building these. And I think what the whole purpose of these kits are, are not really just to build them like straight builds. Um, I think they really want you to branch out and customize, customize them as much as you can. Uh, so that's something I'm planning on doing with the next Frame Arms, well, two Frame Arms girls from now. Um, you know, so I'm gonna go ahead and customize that one. But for the meantime, let's go ahead and review this. So taking a look at the details in the head, the head detail is pretty fantastic. Uh, the only downside I really, I would really have to say is that there's a lot of seam lines in the hair. Uh, so you would go have to, you're gonna have to remove those if you really want a, perf uh, a pretty much a perfect kit. There's clear blue parts all over, some that actually, actually has ribbons. Uh, so I really do like that. And just the twin ponytail thing, um, I think it's a really cool aesthetic. So uh, I don't know if this is kind of like. You know, when it comes to anime girls, if you like the whole ponytail aspect, that this might be something for you. If not, then I'm, I'm very sure that you can go ahead and just buy a different um, Frame Arms girl that has a different type of hair, and you can go ahead and swap that out with this one. So taking a look at the body, uh, the white overall is very, very glossy, which I really like. Um, so if you really don't like the glossy, you're definitely gonna go ahead. Uh, you're gonna have to paint it, or I guess you could just matte top coat it, and it'll probably look pretty good, you know, by itself. Uh, but overall, I do like the gloss because it kind of fits the theme of the overall suit with having all that, you know, nice clear um, chameleon, like almost chameleon style blue. But you're gonna have to paint a little bit extra details because this entire piece is gonna be molded in white. And looking at the arms, once again, um, pretty much going to be a very solid color. So like that yellow that's right there, uh, that was actually painted, the blue is painted. So you're going to have to uh, paint any of this to get some uh, added little details because otherwise you're just going to have an all white uh, arm. So I don't think that I don't think that looked really good. And then, um, you know, obviously you're going to have some water slides, some of the body right there with that blue, and then one on the little shoulder part, which is that little orange kind of arrow. And when taking a look at the legs, the legs have great details as well. Obviously, there's some noticeable seam lines right there that you can, you know, easily remove. Uh, other than that, I mean, I think the legs look pretty fantastic. All that yellow that's on there on the foot, as well as the front leg, that was all painted. And the same thing about this blue, uh, I also painted that in because, you know, it just looks way better with this little blue, uh, at, you know, pretty much enhancement detail. But other than that, I mean, you really are going to have to either uh, paint or you're just going to leave it blank, uh, which I don't think it looks good if it's blank, so it's really going to be up to you. So this is going to have different types of faces. The one that's default right here is going to be a smirking face. You also get a little bit of a happy face. And the other face is quite questionable. So when it comes to hands, you're gonna have these closed finger, kind of like almost straight knife hands. You also get a pair of fists. You get some pointy fingers. You get some expressive open finger hands. And you also get gripping hands, so that way she can hold her weapons. All right, so now that we've finished talking about the extra heads as well as the extra hands, uh, the one thing I can say is that for the extra hands, uh, well, for all the hands that comes with the kit, uh, they're pretty much all the same, I think, across the line of the Frame Arms Girls. Uh, I think the only difference is going to be the colors. I could be wrong, but uh, after building three so far, uh, that's kind of like what I deduced. 
Uh, now, also with the heads, um, now pretty much they're all going to have different expressions, but they do come with a blank slate. So if you decide you want to go ahead and paint, uh, you know, the the overall kit, and you want to keep like the facial expressions like that, but you also, you know, you you want to keep keep it like that. Don't want to paint over it, but you do want to paint, so you can paint this, and then it's also going to come with. Uh, some water slide eyes. Now the only thing that's going to be different is that you're going to have to like paint in the details when it comes to uh, the mouth and such. But I'm, I'm keeping the eyes because I am going to uh, paint a, um, a frame arms girl. So I want to have a bunch of different options. So I'm probably just going to use a bunch of different heads and you know swap out the different facial expressions. But overall, uh, if you want you know basically the same kind of expressions on these default heads, you can utilize the base um, head for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation. Uh, we'll start at the uh, the pigtails. So they're just going to be on little ball joints. Uh, so they can spin right here at the base, uh, which is pretty much a two. To, uh, well, this is a peg, and then this is going to be a ball joint, so it can spin, rotate right here, and then they can also rotate right here. Now the uh, the little clear parts, these can also rotate as well. Now when it comes to the head itself. Uh, basically, it's going to be on a ball joint, so you're going to be able to have some side to side, back and forth. And then this piece is going to be fairly loose, so uh, just keep that in mind. But it's not really too bad. It doesn't to me, it doesn't really get in the way. Uh, overall, though, it's not bad. Okay, now looking at the chest, uh, basically going to be on another ball joint, uh, so it can pretty much go down that far, which is pretty nice, and then go back about that far, even exposing. Uh, the inside of the piece, like the hollowness. Uh, they can go side to side like this. Uh, and then also if you really want, you can kind of like rotate it back and forth um, however you want. But if this is going to be painted, you know, I would just be very wary on that. And then looking at the arms, obviously they're going to be on little ball joints right here so they can move all the way around. And then it's going to be on uh, pretty much a little hinge right here so it can go up pretty much all the way and down, you know, pretty much all the way around so that's going to have some good mobility uh just watch out because i've had it was really just this one that kind of pops out but it really takes a lot of force to go ahead and pop it out uh, and then also you're going to have this little piece which can just basically rotate because it's just sitting there uh, and then the the bicep this can you know pretty much swivel all the way around uh, then right here you're only going to have one part of a, one point of articulation when it comes to the arm uh, which i think is a pretty big disappointment but yeah you're going to only get about that much and then you're also going to have uh, kind of like the figma uh, essentially the same type of um, you know movement so you're going to have a peg in here a peg right here but this part right here can essentially um, rotate like back and forth like so, and then just kind of spin all the way around, however you really want it. Now when it comes to basically the uh, the waist and like the lower tor torso and everything, this is all going to be one solid piece, so you're not really going to get any kind of uh, range of movement, but you do have some nice movement right here in the hips, so these parts can essentially come down like that, uh, just to kind of like, you know, bring out the foot a little bit more. Uh, same thing for the back, so if you want, you can go ahead and pretty much bring it all the way back. Uh, splits, uh... I guess a pretty decent amount, so I don't really have to uh, put her in that kind of position, but if you really want to put her in the splits, uh, she can do that. You can have these little pieces underneath, uh, these can obviously rotate, um, this can swivel all the way around like so because it's on a little peg. And then when it comes to the knee, uh, essentially you're going to have two points of articulation. You're going to have this one right here which gives you a pretty nice 90 degree bend, and then right here which is going to pretty much complete that, so uh, almost uh, a 180. And then over here on the uh, ankle, it's gonna be the same as the wrist, so you know, pretty much back and forth, and can rotate a little bit. But since the uh, the ankle or I guess the heels, um, this is gonna kind of get in the way, so you're really not gonna be able to complete that overall movement. All right, now one thing about this kit, obviously I have it, you know, standing like this. Um, it, it it can stand if you really mess with it. Uh, I kind of have the heel. Oops. I kind of have the heel a little bit in an odd position. That's kind of like what was helping, uh, you know, it stand. So you really have to like minimize the the, the weight in the back. Uh, but it can stand on its own. I just don't recommend it because this is not very balanced. Uh, but that's also why it comes with a nice little stand. Uh, so if you really want to have it as just the um, a tier, you can go ahead and put it on a stand. And you are going to get some weapons. I have no idea what the names are. I did not see them in English anywhere in the manual. Uh, and I'm just kind of lazy to look them online. But uh, they're pretty much like daggers almost. Uh, you know, just basic blades. I don't think there really is a, a, a name for them. Um, but overall, I think these are some pretty awesome weapons. And 
you know, you just get these two and they easily clip into the hands. So if you want to get her to, uh, to some dynamic poses, uh, you can definitely do so. And she also has this really cool blaster. Uh, now, as cool as it may be, it kind of comes off as like, I don't know, like a water gun or I don't know, some kind of like weird play gun. But uh, overall, I mean, I think it does look pretty cool. I would just probably prefer her to have something a little, little bit more, re I don't want to say realistic, but uh, something a little bit more believable. That just kind of looks like a weird spray gun or something like that, like a paint gun or something. Uh, but overall, I think it's a pretty nice addition to her arsenal. Okay, now that we kind of covered all the weapons that you know, we really could, uh, let's go ahead and move on to her actual transformation. And here she is with all of her attachments, not including the backpack or the other weapons. Uh, but I just want to go ahead and show you what she looks like without all the extra equipment. And then we can go ahead and run through what changed on all of her body parts. Uh, pretty much there's some um, like arms and legs that had to get switched out. So let's go ahead and go through that. Okay, so when it came to the head, the only thing that changed was the actual like ribbons. Uh, so essentially, you just switch out these two for these, and they're just like little like spikes. And then the chest piece was actually changed out, so you are gonna have more clear blue all right there. Now that yellow, you are gonna have to paint, so I just went ahead and painted that because hey, that's what the uh, that's what it looks like on the front box art. But I do like this chest piece just because it's a little more simple, and I put green on there, so it kind of like highlighted a little bit more than this. But uh, this just overall fits the theme. And now for the arms, basically this entire piece is gonna be completely different. Uh, now you do have. Um, Basically, you can still put like this yellow up here, uh, which I did not. I just, I don't know, I guess I was lazy and I didn't, you know, paint that in yellow, uh, which I will in the future. And then this little piece, this is basically a, uh, it's almost, it's almost the same piece as this, uh, but this has like a little groove to where you can put that little clear blue piece uh, right there. And then on the back of here, you're going to have this little adapter, which is going to be used to uh, actually support uh, the next weapon that's going to be on this kit. All right, and for the legs, almost everything's different. So uh, the big the big key difference is going to be this leg and uh, like this part of the leg and this right here. Uh, so obviously you lose the heel and you have more of a, um, uh, I don't know what to call this. I mean, it's a better it's a better leg because it's actually going to be able to support the overall kit. Uh, but yeah, you get this different type of uh, foot. And then this piece is almost similar. Uh, it's, it's fairly similar, but the front part right here is going to be different. Uh, and then this uh, white part right here is actually the same. So essentially what's different is all this down at the bottom. You're going to have this little connection point right here, which has its own little kind of like a t articulation. And then you're going to have this front part, which is also going to have uh, its own articulation as well as this part, which is going to be uh, kind of like a holster uh, for the new weapon. Uh, now the front parts of these are actually pretty cool. They're actually going to have uh, water slides, these little blue stripes. So overall, I think that's pretty dope. I uh, didn't really do anything like panel lining or anything except for on the sides of these and uh, underneath it. But for the most part, I just kind of painted that blue um, and everything else is just very pretty much plain because um, I just didn't really see much else I could have really proved on it. And now with the backpack attached, she's basically going to be in her overall like frame arms mode. But I must say this mode is fantastic looking. Uh, yeah, it is a bit, it's, it's a, a lot back heavy, uh, but overall I think this looks fantastic. So kind of just going through it, you do have like these like thrusters right here, as well as these little clear parts right here on the back. And they also have like their own little articulation, which can basically rotate all the way around. Uh, this can rotate up and down as well. So uh, that's something you would more or less experiment with because um, it's just it's going to be pretty chaotic if I go ahead and do that. Next is going to be these little parts right here. So this can also kind of like rotate. Uh, this can move up and down as well, but uh, it's it's a little bit tough. Uh, like it's 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 pretty sturdy. Uh, so I don't really want to force it to move, but overall you can kind of understand like, yeah, this part can basically move up and down and kind of rotate uh, as much as you can. And then down here is basically where the blaster was. So uh, you obviously have more clear blue parts right on here. And this is going to connect as far as um, how it's being held. There's a little point right here. So you connect the, uh, the stand to this little um, uh, female, like, uh, female connection point and then it can basically stand up on its own. Uh, and then other than that, you're gonna have like this little peg piece right here. So uh, connects right there on the side and this can rotate all the way around as well as in and out. Uh, and then this part is basically gonna be that little blade that you uh, seen earlier in the review. There are also water slides. So you basically get two water slides, one for outside, 
right here and then on the other side and they were a little bit of a pain to kind of get on there uh, but ultimately I did get it on there even though it's a little bit crooked uh, but hey it kind of just is what it is now for the final two weapons that she actually has she has essentially two of these scythes so uh, they're like pretty massive compared to her uh, they're definitely going to tower her uh, as she actually gets two of them uh, so with that um, the articulation on these as individuals this can go up and down and then this can rotate as well so you just overall have a lot of different opportunities for how you want to pose them uh, the, the manual just kind of shows you some examples uh, my go-to is like this this is like pretty much my favorite one or if you want you can kind of have it uh, like this to where it's almost claw like uh, you can have it like this as well so however you really want is up to you um, you, know, you can even just have it like kind of basic uh, but I like it kind of more this way now I also did paint that little uh, copper color right there because um, it kind of showed it gold in the manual uh, but I decided going with a copper tone you know just overall looked a little bit better uh, so it kind of just adds a little bit tone and, and you know uh, depth to the actual weapons and so if you want to go ahead and store these weapons they basically just clip right here on the side of the leg and there's no issue it just basically clips right there and with both of them stored like that I mean it still looks really cool but with her not having any weapons uh, basically if you don't utilize the weapons right here in the back or these uh, just kind of looks a little plain uh, but overall it doesn't look bad but let's go ahead and put these right in the hand all right, and if you want to go ahead and utilize the weapon, basically what you're going to have to do is just slide through this little piece that's underneath the forearm and then attach the hand to it. Uh, but overall, it's going to have a lot of weight to it, so really trying to get that sweet spot to where it can actually hold it uh, is going to be a little tricky. Now, overall, it's not the best of poses, uh, but I do think it's it's pretty decent for what you can get. I don't think a lot of people can really... Um, pull this off. I've, I've just seen other reviewers not getting this in any kind of poses whatsoever. Uh, so overall, I think it is nice. Um, you just have to tighten up the stand so that way it can support it in mid-air. But other than that, I mean, I think it's pretty dope. Uh, especially if you just kind of like look at the, the overall proportions. I mean, this thing is pretty damn big. And here she is compared to the real grade Red Frame Astray. And also next to the Master Grade 2.0 Hyakushiki. So all the accessories essentially has two more forms, uh, which are both kind of like wave riders. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the next one. And here is the wave rider mode. Now this is one of two of them. Uh, this one in particular, she's more attached to the entire thing. Um, may, I guess mainly just with like, uh, there's a little attachment part that connects to her back and she has like the little thrusters. Um, but I guess realistically, uh, other than that, I mean, she still has all the normal armaments that she had from the previous form. Uh, so like the legs and arms and everything, that's all essentially the same. Um, and everything kind of connects fairly well. Uh, there's not any kind of hiccups. The instructions are pretty straightforward. Uh, so I, I didn't really see anything that was like cause of concern or anything of the sort. And if you just take a closer look, uh, I mean, I think overall it looks really cool. You're not going to be able to do too many poses on this thing. I mean, you kind of can if you want to pull, you know, pull off some kind of like stunts, you know, with her kind of doing, I don't know, some jumps on this and then simultaneously shooting at someone. You are, you know, in your, in your full capacity to go ahead and do that. But um, I just don't see this as kind of like the, the main pose that anyone would put their kid in uh, as far as like, you know, these type of modes. It's okay for what it is, but hey, I would just go ahead and, and keep it uh, kind of like how I shown you in the first form. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and get on to the final mode. And here she is in the second wave rider mode. Uh, overall, I think it looks way, way better, uh, mainly because she ditches all those extra like parts for the arms as well as the legs and legs actually right here become part of the overall uh, machine um, so that's, that's, I mean that's pretty cool the arms don't really do anything you just kind of like toss them to the side uh, but the overall kind of aesthetic pretty much stays the same I don't really see any kind of main difference um, but I think it looks a lot better um, you know she I don't know she's just basically in her, in her normal form uh, and just kind of like basically just jumps on the machine so if she's not if you're not really want to change out the arms or legs uh, this would be a pretty good alternative uh, so overall um, I would say for my final thoughts and everything uh, let's go through the pros um, the pros are 
essentially this kit is amazing um <laughs> i know that's kind of like very vague but uh, i think this is one of the better um kits i've built in a long time now it is fairly chaotic in, in the way that um the way the transformation is it's a little bit difficult um but it's not like impossible it's just like some pieces kind of fall off uh so i would definitely recommend gluing or using cement for as much as you can um but I mean, that's really about it. Like just some parts come off. You, you gotta paint some extra details, but that's kind of like any model kit in general. You're gonna have to use some paint if you want it to be 100% uh, complete. Um, but the posability I think is, is pretty great. Uh, nearly across the board, except for the elbow uh, joints, uh, where I really wish they had two points of articulation instead of the one. Um, but overall, I was just say for the cons, uh, definitely wish it wasn't as complicated. The parts fit a little bit better. Um, that's, that's pretty much about it. Now looking at the pros, uh, so overall it's a very, very beautiful looking kit to just, just gaze at. Um, I would say like if you're not into the customizing, uh, this would be a very good kit to have in your collection because I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to leave it like this. I was going to put it into its uh, first form like I had before, uh, but I really love this Wave Rider form. I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty damn cool. Um, now I, I would just say like as far as the pros, um, if you if you have the uh, the need to customize, uh, these kits are so so friendly in the customizing department. Like you can buy stuff from the MSG, you know the uh, I think mechanical uh, supply goods or I, I forgot what what the uh, terminology was, but they have like different like weapons, um, like scythes. They have swords, rockets, missile pods, like a whole bunch of different things. So. Um, I would say if you really want to go ahead and just attach all those things to this kit, it's uh, it's just easy. I mean, you see all these little ports right there all scattered throughout. You can just like overload this thing even more if you really wanted to. Um, but I, I just think it's, it's pretty awesome uh, and all these little parts would be compatible with pretty much any other um, Frame Arms girl. So if you have another Frame Arms girl in mind that you really want to you know put all these parts at, um, Put all these parts too you could definitely do so with any other one like the materia or um the architect or whatever other girl uh you have in mind um and then i would say lastly for the pros i mean it's it's th this may not be a pro for everyone but it's not gumpla <laughs> um i'm i'm not saying i'm getting burnt down on gumpla but man like sometimes just building gundams over and over again kind of gets um repetitive so this is a, a breath of fresh air for me, like just building some of these things. I know some people are not a fan of like the way the girls kind of look, like they look a little, a little young and everything. To me, they're not girls, they're mechs. That's that's the way I look at them. I mean, I've been kind of like seeing this idea since I was a little kid with Chobits. Um, and uh, I don't know, there's some other like, oh, um, Maharomatic. Like there's just a bunch of different like anime girls that were robots that I don't look at them as a girl anymore. They're a robot. They're a tool and they're used for whether it be destructive or servitude or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. So definitely thanks for watching. Uh, I'm pretty sure this review was very, very long. Uh, so sorry if it became long-winded. But overall, um, I just want to go ahead and give my thoughts and opinions on this figure. Um, but that's it for me guys. Uh, definitely rate, comment, subscribe. Ring that bell for future notifications. And definitely stay tuned for more, uh, whether it be Frame Arms Girls, Gunpla, or something else I have in mind. But that's it from me, guys. Definitely thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.